morning, Rabotai. It's Kul Shem Rabot. So today's Erev Yom Kippurim. Everybody knows it's a tremendous mitzvah to eat and drink well, copiously, on Erev Yom Kippur. It's actually the one and only day of the year that it is absolutely forbidden, no matter what, under any circumstances, to fast. There are certain circumstances where you're allowed to fast on Shabbat. Sometimes you're allowed to fast on Yom Tov. The only one day of the year, ever, that you're never allowed to fast no matter what, is Erev Yom HaKippurim. A person must eat and drink. Shtabach Shema, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us such beautiful mitzvot of eating and drinking. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants us to have koach for the fast tomorrow. So much so that the Chachamim teach us that a person who eats well today, it's as if he fasted today and tomorrow. Shtabach Shema. To, Mikon Makom. Also, uh, it is customary on Erev Yom HaKippurim to be tovel b'mikveh, even those who were not or are not makpid to go before every Shabbat, every Yom Tov, even those who weren't makpid to go before Rosh Hashanah, on every, uh, Erev Yom HaKippurim is a very important thing. Wherever possible, the Ben Yishchai says it's so hamur, a person should be careful about chatzitzot as well, but it's not meikar adbid. So, also it's customary on Erev Yom HaKippurim to pray mincha early. For a person to pray mincha early, there's different reasons among the Rishonim why that is, but a person should be mitvadeh. For a person to uh, confess his sins, we say, in today's mincha, there's a long, the whole vidui, you're supposed to do that before the Sudam of Seket, because we, not, we may not make it out of Sudam of Seket alive. And therefore, in order to be mitvadeh, before then, the Chachamim said to pray mincha a little bit earlier. Also, it's preferable, wherever possible, this evening, we have kol nidre. Kol nidre is a form of hataran derim, although we just did it now. At, no matter what the Chachamim said on, uh, on it's not really the Chachamim, the Gaonim were metaken, but Kol nidre said on Yom Kippur is a form of hataran derim, and therefore, since we're not matir nedarim b'shabbatot v'yamim tovim, it's preferable to start kol nidre, preferable even to complete it, but at least to start it before shkiat hachama. Tonight's shkiah is at about 7.03, so if a person can say kol nidre before then, matov v'manaim. Even if he did not, mikol makom, it is... Uh, it's, it's fine, you can say it afterwards. A very important thing, just uh, there's many different things, I can't speak about all of the halachot of Yom Kippur right now, but a very important thing, especially for men, on the night of Yom Kippur, which is tonight. The Gemara, at the tail end of Masechet Yomad of Pechet, the Gemara speaks about um, if, if something happens to men on the night of Yom Kippur, it's a, it's a siman ra, it's a very bad siman. The Gemara says, Yom Kippurim, Yid'ag ko nashana kula. A person should be nervous the entire year. Nevertheless, the Chachamim also say, V'im hishlim shenato, if a person, in spite of that, ended up living out the year, Muftach lo shu ben ha'olam abba. Right, it's a, it's a good sign. It means that he has a lot of zechuyot to protect him. So, but at the end of the day, the poskim say that a person should try to do whatever possible to protect himself from coming to a situation where he'll have a nocturnal emission on the night of Yom Kippurim. Therefore, it's preferable today, during the of Yom Kippurim, not to eat such heavy things. A person should eat light things, things that are easily digested. The heavier the things that a person eats, that brings about keri sometimes. Not hard cheeses, not you know such uh, heavy meat, chicken, fish, very light things that are easily um, digested. Also, the Mishnah Ben-Ura brings down that when you go to sleep on Lel Yom HaKippurim, some people, because of fear of, uh, of, of this thing, some people stay up all night long on Yom Kippur saying Tehilim. You know that. Not everybody has the power to do that. But even those who do go to sleep on Lel Yom HaKippurim, the Mishnah Ben-Ura said, preferably to go to sleep without a blanket. Why? Because when a person is very warm, when, when the body is hot, that's also, you know, uh, that's, uh, that, that's not segula, but that can bring about keri. So a person should preferably sleep without a blanket, a little bit cooler. And at least the Mishnah Berah says, Yigale margelotav, which means to keep his feet uncovered. You know why? Because when the feet are cold, or when the feet are chilly, what happens to the rest of the body? The rest of the body, the body temperature goes down, and that can keep a person to protect him from seeing keri, belel yom kippurim, whatever it is, at the end of tefillat arvit, there's a segula, the Tariya Kadosh says to say, that the first four prakim in Tehilim, alet, bet, gimal, dalet, if a person says it before he goes to sleep, it's his end, kriyat shema al mitah b'chavana, it's a segula that he shouldn't see keri al mitato, especially on yom kippurim. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all peace, good, shem, and abot, and aimot, and tovot, gmar, chatimah, tovah, 
Lano Chloe said, and to ask everybody here also for Mechila, you know, I don't, I don't remember everything I've done to everybody, so I ask for Mechila Klalit. Hopefully, you're Mochel Oti, Kamuvan, then I'm Mochel everybody else. Here, everybody in cyberspace, Bezat Hashem, Yisku Lashanim Rabot, Naimot Vetovot, Yisku Vetichu Vetarich Yamin.